Welcome back friends. Hope you all have been doing well. I am Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media and communication and how to make the best of the digital world on this channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, I urge you to kindly go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Today I will be talking about our statistics. There are many advantages of using R. First and foremost, it's free and open source. You do not have to pay for any license. Secondly, there is a big robust R community which create packages for any analysis whatsoever. So you get uh, literally thousands of packages for free. Thirdly, R simplifies data visualization. You can create aesthetically pleasing graphs and charts very easily with R. Fourthly, R is the go-to programming language for statistics. So most of the important statistical tools are introduced into R. Fifthly, the advantage of using programming languages like R is that it helps us avoid repeating tasks. For example, if you have stored the script on how to conduct a t-test, you do not have to repeat certain tasks. You can copy the same code and use it for different data sets. In a spreadsheet or in SPSS, for example, you would need to perform the same analysis again and again. We'll begin our discussion today by telling you how to install R and then R Studio and uh, familiarizing ourselves with the interface of the R Studio and performing certain simple tasks. In coming weeks, we shall discuss many more uh, features of uh, R and uh, statistics with R. This is the site from which we download R, the cranrproject.org. And there are a number of options available for uh, downloading this R software and you, you have to decide on your particular operating system. So most often we'll be using uh, R for Windows and that's where we download R from. So we click on to download R for Windows and it uh, comes on to this particular screen. That's whether you want to install R for the first time. So we need to click on to this one. So the latest version for R these days is 4.1.1 as we can see here. So this is the version available. Download R 4.1.1 for Windows. It's 86 MB uh, as you can see here. We now need to go to the uh, download folder where the R has been downloaded. And from there we have to begin the installation process. So uh, that folder is available in your uh, download files provide the necessary permission the setup language is English agree with the uh, default choices it's always better to go for default choices so we'll always go with the default here as you, you can see here it asks whether i want to accept default so i will accept defaults here it will be installed in a folder called r so it's better to go for defaults and whether you want to create a desktop shortcut so often it's uh, useful to take, uh, create a desktop shortcut. So now you have successfully installed R and once you click on to the uh, desktop icon this is the window that opens up and this is where the entire work of R happens for example if uh, this can be used as a calculator as well so we just need to type for example 5 multiplied by 4 enter this gives me the answer for example if i want to find out the mean of uh, all the numbers from 1 to 10 then mean 1 colon 10 so uh, if we add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 we know it will come up to 55 
and if we divide 55 by 10 which are the uh, 10 numbers we'll get 5.5 so let's see what answer we get here that's what we get here we can also find square root of any number so you don't need to memorize these things these are quite easy things and uh, while working we'll get to know about all these things for example if i want to find out the square root of 81 i know it's 9 so this is what i will get here so this is uh, the the back end uh, where all the uh, calculations happen for the front end we need to download r studio it is a very convenient graphical user interface this is where we download r studio from so this is rstudio.com and from there will be able to download the R Studio, which is an IDE, as you can see there, Integrated Development Environment. Uh, there are quite a few options and we need to choose this free option. And that's what is required for our work. The free option for uh, downloading R Studio. If you open R Studio after installing it, this is what it might look like. So for example, here we can see three windows here. So we can see this uh, console window here. We can also see uh, the environment history window here. And we can see another window which is about uh, files and plots and packages and uh, all that. So these are the three windows that might appear and we might require more than these three windows. So we'll just see that. Uh, this R console is exactly what we saw on our base when we loaded R. So all the calculations that we could do there, for example, if I multiply 5 with 4, I'll get 20 as before. But there is another very powerful thing uh, on our studio, which is known as the script editor. And that is what is required. And for that, we need to click on to this particular area. This is where we would need to click. So once I click on to this, this is what I will get here. This is the script editor. In fact, I can get both of them. So I need, this is the script editor now. So in addition to the three windows we saw, we can see the fourth one here as well, which is the script editor. And we'll soon see this is a very, very useful tool at our disposal. Before you start working, you can change the appearance of our studio according to your preference. So for that, you need to go to tools and there you need to go to global options and in global options you need to go to appearance and there you can change the r studio theme here for example i've zoomed it to 200 so you can use a zoom or you cannot use a zoom you can change the font so the default is a lucida console you can use uh, any of the fonts which are available you can even change the font size so uh, often we prefer working with a 12 point size so for example if you want a dark theme you go for uh, some of these themes and you, you can also go for a grayish theme, for example. So there we go for dawn. So whatever you're comfortable with, you can change the theme. So this is how we start. Whatever codes we type in the script editor here will be saved and we can use it later on. So if I am creating any object or if I am creating data frames, as they call them, I can save it and I can use it for later. For example, if I create an object Y, the sign I use is not is equal to but less than followed by a dash. And then I assign it value say for example from 1 to 10. And if I run this, I will see that this appears in the console down below. So this is the editor where I am working and this work is seen over here in the console which is the R console. If I now want to find out what is Y, so if I type in Y over here, 
I will have to run it. So whatever is typed here will have to be run and there are two ways of running my code. So I have assigned y values from 1 to 10 that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And I want to find out what is y now. So for that I'll have to just simply click on to run here and we can see here it is telling me it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I don't want to use the mouse then I can also use control enter. So if I use control enter I'll get the same result. And you can see that whatever I have typed in here appears in the environment as well and it appears in the history as well here. We can also find out instead of uh, uh, using these things we can say for example I want to find out the mean of y I just need to type in mean and need to type in there and y is already defined here so I need to find out the mean of y I will again need to run it if I run it it will show me the value of 5.5 we can also plot y on a graph so for that we just need to give a very simple command plot y and as usual we'll have to run it so I just run it over here and we can see the plot over here this is the plot so the y values of y are available here on the plot section here so there are so many things to discover in uh, R studio and R and in coming weeks we'll try and explore more of R Thanks for watching friends. Do share your comments in the comment box below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and subscribe. I will soon be back with another useful video. Have a great time.